Hi, this is Richard Burdick, and I'm today going to think about smooth slurs on the French horn. Um, I want all my students to be working on what I call the 8, 9, 10 harmonics. So on the F horn, I can't play a pedal first harmonic, but I can play 2, 3, 4 in that low octave, and then 5, 6, 7, 2, 3, 4, and then 5, 6, 7, and then I have 8, 9, 10. So I want all my students to be working on a smooth 8, 9, 10. You can start here on the C horn. Which isn't so smooth today, but we'll work on it. So, as I said in the last video, we're not going to buzz. We're going to go, we're starting with a singing approach. Okay, now this time I'm going to actually finger it. It's G, concert at C, D, E, or horn and F, G, A, B. I'm going to finger it, but I'm going to do something Phil Myers taught me, which is to move my vowels really slow. So if I approach it with that kind of air, which is a, a more air support than the average playing that I do, connecting better. And now if I take a better breath, and I'm going to think about breath, there's about five steps to a good breath. I've seen teachers just say, if you do that, you get a good breath. Well, it's true, you get a good breath. I'm breathing here and here. Okay, but I'm going to, as an exercise, um, another one of the great things Phil Myers taught me was, if you're nervous, take a bigger breath. And it's excellent advice. Um, and I used to be nervous a lot. Now I just take big breaths and I'm not nervous. And I focus on more stylistic approach. And it keeps me away from even being more nervous. So, the big breath. Okay, first of all, I breathe low. The fat breath. And then I want to make sure I'm breathing on the sides. Phil Meyer said, back, breathe in the back. I've never been quite able to do that. But I can certainly make myself fat. And then, slides, and I also like what, what happens when you breathe through the nose. It sets you up here, and then through the mouth, and through the nose. So I'm going to do fat, sides, top, through the nose, and cap it off, and then see what happens. And I'll try for the 8, 9, 10. Oh, exhale first, don't forget that. Now with that breath, I can make an incredibly good, smooth slur. That was an okay breath. coming to today is a good breath makes a good slur.